Well, it's the same feeling because you're down. I mean, we haven't won a game yet, so I say it's the same feeling of not winning a game. Uh, definitely different team, definitely different playoff. So, I mean, just come with a better focus. You know, I mean, we're at home. We have opportunity to take it one game at a time and try to get game three and make it a 2-1 series and then take it from there. I mean, just be, I think, I mean, with BB has been in foul trouble last game, so it's kind of tough and to kind of find a rhythm. Um, game before, I think he got some shots. He missed a couple easy shots. Um, at the same time, I feel like I told him at times he has to be more aggressive. I mean, just be more aggressive and look for your shot. And that's all. That's all it really you can ask for. Just be more aggressive on that end and just look for your shot more. Um, yeah, you never want to be in this situation, but this is what the game of basketball and this is the position we put ourselves into um, as a team with a lot of pride, a lot of confidence. I still believe we can win this series and just take it one game at a time. And we've been a team that's been playing well when we play at home in the playoffs. So even though it's a new year of playoffs and uh, we want to come out with that same focus, we know our crowd will come out and be amazing for us. And that's as a team, we've got to come out and play with more energy and more sense of focus. Just stay cool. Just stay cool. We understand that we didn't play our best basketball. Um, we wanted to go there and try to get two games or at least get one game. We didn't do that. They did what they were supposed to. We take home court. And we have an opportunity to come home and take home court. We just got to take it one game at a time and try to get better every day. Throughout the whole game, I'm always asking Brad what plays he want ran for himself, situation to get him involved. So, I mean, we always do that throughout the game. I'm always asking him what plays he want ran, what, where the other situations. Like, I know where he wants the ball when I'm penetrating and trying to find him in transition. But in the half court sense, I try to ask him situations to put himself in a position to be very aggressive and be in the scoring position. And um, he even said, you know, I mean, he got to be more aggressive himself, even if he's missing or making shots. That's how he's been all season, and we still need that same type of player to be aggressive and be getting at least 20 shots or more a game. And that's when our team is probably one of our best. No, I don't think so. I think defensively it's a disconnect, not offensively. I mean, offensively, we're getting some looks. We just haven't been making them really. I mean, you can't fault yourself for that. We're getting good looks. We just haven't made them. Um, they made open shots. We haven't. That's the difference of the game. Uh, if you look at any game that's been going on throughout the whole playoffs, Basically, whatever team make the most threes has won those games. We haven't even been close to making the most threes. Our defense, we just got to play as a team, help each other, try to take pride in guarding our man one-on-one. -on -one. And then we do get those guys to take tough shots and miss tough shots. We have to do a better job of cleaning up the offensive rebounds. Did a better job of switching. Did a better job of in our coverages. And we just did a better job, better job of just playing more aggressive, but playing more focused with a sense of pride, even though knowing we were down 30 and could get embarrassed. So we have to come with that same focus. It's like we are embarrassed right now. You're down 0-2. No, I was just talking about a defensive cover. That's all it was. Just talking about something that we wanted to do defensively. I mean, the people that's not in that huddle or the outside are going to think it's like we're arguing and having the biggest blow up, but that's their decision. Like I always tell people, they're going to have their own perception of what's going on. As long as we know what's going on, understand that that's our brother, that's our family right there. We're the guys that got to stick together when the times are hard or eat or tough. We do that. So it wasn't nothing to really look, look forward to. Two guys that can push the pace, two guys that can create for each other and create for other players on the court. And, um, we just tried to get out and be very aggressive and push the pace. He was able to knock down some threes and space the floor floors, and that was big. I think it was easier for him because I, I had the ball in my hands a lot, and he was able just to space, up, space out and knock down shots or attack for himself and find shots. We didn't really put him in a position where he had to call a lot of plays and understand what was going on, so I think it was a little more easier for him. Well, we do got to play Brady. I mean, that's what we pride ourselves on is our starting five. It's been one of the best starting fives in the league. Uh, through this series so far, we haven't been great. You know, we, 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 we have to do a better job of that of getting off to good starts so we don't dig a hole for our bench to try to come in and play spectacular to keep us in the game or just play hero ball all the time. We have to come out and play with a better focus in the first quarter, and hopefully we can start doing that tomorrow. I'd probably say like 60 to 70%. You know, I mean, just I know the basic plays, but I just don't know all the options. Like, you know, like option one, two, three, and four. So, you know, I'm getting, getting used to it. How do you cramp? I mean, first I just, you know, look at the plays that they mostly run. So I have them put you know, on the iPad which plays they mostly run, you know, to who and where, and I just study from there. Yeah, it's a little tough, you know, uh, playing off the ball or, you know, if they made a shot, I'll, let, I'll tell, like, I'll throw the ball in and let it bounce so I can ask coach what to play, what to run. I did that a couple <laughs> times. You know, just, just little things like that. So we got through it. Uh, I think because, you know, we played switch defense, you know, they wasn't really scoring you know, as easy as they were in the first half because, um, and in the first half, we was like trapping and they find easy pass and kicking out to wide open threes. In the second half, they wasn't getting that at all. They had to figure it out. And uh, I mean, we just uh, made plays and then ran back. And, uh, you know, they had to guard, you know, me, Bradley, off the ball. I was hitting shots and then uh, getting into the paint, finding the man. So, you know, you know, when I first got in, it was like eight minutes to go. I was like, oh, who? I looked up <laughs> and then ran in. And, uh, you know, once I got, you know, my feet wet, Hit my first shot and just felt like I was back at home. Not really, really didn't say too much. Is that be ready? You know, that's the coach just said be ready. But 
you know, just getting that early was surprising. I think it's from experience from being in Houston and like Sacramento. You know, I was probably deferring a lot and I think I didn't play my game at all. So now it's like be aggressive and then we'll figure it out. I mean, if it's a shot or a pass, I'm going to make. Either way, I'm just going to figure it out. If they ask my opinion, which they, I mean, people have, I just tell them the truth while I think and, and you know how I feel and just let it roll with it. So what's the truth after these first two games? I mean, we just got to be more aggressive on the defensive offensive end, you know, uh, and also I think switching works, you know, because, I mean, with Kyle, if he gets downhill on the big, he's able to find somebody and he's good going to his left. But when we started stri- switching, they, they didn't know what to do. They didn't have no offense for that. So it was a little bit of a surprise. Yeah, because if you look at tape, you know, either they passing the Valentunas and he was swinging to the, you know, the, the two man, three man, they was in the closeout or open three. So, you know, in the second half, they wasn't able to do that. They had to fight, some, fight you know, one of the smaller guards on the big or, you know, Mike was switching out and doing his job. Who doesn't want to be in the NBA? I was ready to go. I was ready to get on that plane once I got that call. So, and I was excited.